Tyler Peets, it's your girl Cherie, reporting live for Cherie TV. O.J. Simpson is on the stand. They just went to commercial on HLN. That's where I'm getting my information from. And he is on the stand. They had to take his handcuffs off and everything when he got on the stand. He was all jingling and shit. You could hear the, the, the cuffs and everything. He's sitting up there. looked like he's in pajamas, but he's in prison uh, garb. You know what I'm saying? O.J. That, the man that used to run through the airport. Same guy. The same guy, but not the same guy. Okay? Unless he always had that killer DNA in his vein. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. Another reason why not to have kids. They might grow up and be murderers. Okay? I do not mind being barren. A barren lesbian. Okay. Now, time for a cigarette. Or a commercial. You know it's not going to be long commercial. Come on, we are missing it right now. He is on the stand right now. HLN people. Damn. I want to report it live on the air with you guys while he is on the stand. Damn. I don't want to go to a blackout. You know what I mean? as the time ticks. As soon as I stop it to restart it and upload this. Okay, here we go. Are you there? Uh, yes. The, uh, uh, once when I did call him for some matter, and he says, just, you know, just call me. You know, uh, he, he was my guy. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, let's go to the time period on September 2007. Did you owe Mr. Blanchard any money for anything at that point? Nothing at all. Okay. Galanter, his friend. Money for anything at that point? Not at all. He's like, we was boys. We was friends. We hung out. Okay. Um, Mr. Blanchard, you have to did you have contact with Thomas recently? Yes. Okay, how did that happen? Uh, the Tom started calling me about some person who uh, allegedly had stuff from me that belonged to me. He told me that they had told him it was my stuff. Uh, and they wanted him to help sell it. Uh, and they told him not to tell me. Okay. And, and how did you respond to Mr. Reed? What's he giggling about? This is 33 years. I'm trying to put it, put it aside because I had seen on the internet stuff of mine that was for sale, some real and some bogus. So, it, you know, I was, you know, I, I spent the last uh, 10 years raising two young kids. You're right, baby. He is charismatic as hell. I, I wasn't going to go chase any of this stuff. But he called me, I mean, really assisted, I mean, acceptably. And once he sort of let me know that I might know the guys, then my attitude changed on something. Okay. So, when your attitude changed, what happened then? Well, that's when I realized he was talking about... For 20 uh, times. Holla! And possibly Mike Gilbert. And uh, right up until I walked in that room, I always thought it was Mike Gilbert. Okay. And did you did that cause you to have any um, emotions about Well, my, my attitude was still the same that I wasn't going to go chase this stuff. He wanted me to come out to California. Uh, I said, well, if you can get him to bring it to you, I'll come out to California. Uh, he would call me from time to time over a, I felt, a two month period. And uh, I would always say to him, 
Get this up. If you get this up in your shop, I'll be live uh, in court right now in Vegas. We are following that. Also, any minute, the next phase of the Jody Arias trial is getting underway. Was she cruel enough to deserve a lethal injection? Oh, shit. I there were a lot of tech jobs available out there. I knew DeRay, you know. Yeah, OJ is very, very charismatic on the stand. He's talking about how him and Galanter, they were boys, friends. Some of the stuff he saw online of his was real. Some of it wasn't, as he calls it, bogus. Which you say you can tell he's been in jail a while. Nobody says that anymore. Holla. Hmm. Okay. Bogus is like so 90s. Like who says that anymore? It's kind of like psych. You know what I mean? Nobody says that anymore. And then we find out if the jury, the jury will decide whether or not Jody Arias will get life or death. That's right. The jury. Not the judge. The jury. After having all this time off and, and hearing, you know, about this trial, keeping it real, you know, they home, chilling. You know their friends are talking to them. You know their families are talking to them. Probably saying that girl needs to fry. You know they've heard that shit. So you cannot assume that the public has not had an impact on on these people. Or the media. I'm sure they're tapped in. They're human, aren't they? Without being sequestered, they're going to give in to that human need. The need to know. how it is. I'm going to go ahead and put this up and then um, we're at 6.59, 7 minutes. I just don't want it to shut down. Would you say my computer has a mind of its own? Sometimes it's cool for the whole 12 minutes. Sometimes it just shuts me off. what you say? I didn't have the needles even. See? Now they're a little bit even. Oh, it's back. These are all things that they should have, not, not some guy selling it. You know, okay. Hotels and the breaks. Going to LA at that What are some of those things that you have earned during your career? Yes, yes. Well, what cool me? Football, for instance. Um, I had collected footballs from my son. So, whenever I interviewed somebody like a Joe Montana or a John Elway, I would get them to sign a ball for my son. Myself, if I won a game ball, I would, if I was presented a game ball after a game, now, during the course of a football game, there's 23, 24 ball shoots. But, symbolically, when the game's over, the coach would give a guy a game ball. He said ball. I would, if it was a big issue, I mean, a big moment in my career, like gaining a thousand yards, breaking a single game rushing record for two thousand yards, I would take the ball and I have a guy paint on it and paint the accomplishment on it. Well, that was nice. Uh, so that, that was the nature of the balls that they had. Alright. So, how often was Mr. Riccio calling you um, in August? Well, he was calling me so much that I, I started avoiding his calls. Um, I, I know him under the day shooter. My girlfriend at the time, Chrissy, who runs into him, and all of a sudden, you're the guy that's making OJ up all the time. And now I got a face to go with the guy. He was, because I didn't, I didn't, you know, I, was, I, kept, I kept telling him, I'm not chasing this stuff. You get it, call me, I'll come and get it. The items that you're trying to get, were they anything that you would have ever sold? No, I don't. No. Um, would you have given them away to people? No, well, my kids. Okay. And I, I've given uh, a few things, um, but, you know, pictures and, and stuff. No, not, not any of these things, not any of these awards. I have never sold any of my personal Remember, I'm talking about Alright. Mm. Mm. 
what your understanding was in August, September of 2007 regarding your judgment creditors' um, ability to see that type of property to satisfy a judgment. Well, I knew all of this was outside the scope of, of, of that. I knew that stuff had to have an unusual value. Of course, in my case, as I was explaining to a guy over the other day, everything has an unusual case, uh, price that appears, you know. Um, um, but I knew that the judge says, if I wasn't selling it for this unusual price, it was mine. If I sold it for over some unusual price, then they can, you know, uh, garnish the money. Okay, and, and your understanding that the property would be exempt from judgment, did that come from an advice of any counsel? Well, it came from my knowledge. So, uh, I've gone through it. I've gone through it a lot. And, and did Ron Flake give you any yeah, advice about what was yes. exempt, what was not exempt? Yes. Okay. Yes. Not two, two copies of If I Did It was included. Remember that book, y'all? If I did it, this is how I would have done it. I well, love. In this case is concerned, um, I knew that Mike Gilbert, um, Bruce Furlong, and Beardsley had been issued turnover orders. And no, he did not take the stand in his murder trial. I was thinking of when he tried on the glove. I misspoke. Why he wants his robbery and kidnapping convictions thrown out. He wants a new trial. We continue listening to him. I want to know what's up with Jody. Don't y'all? All right. Well, we're coming up on 12 minutes. I'm going to stop it right now. I love you guys. There will be more Sherry TV coming up very, very soon. Holla. Love you.